the Repose 4 Suture Hyoid Suspension Technique for the Surgical Treatment of Obstructive Sleep Apnea. After initial neck dissection, the surgeon skeletonizes the midline superior aspect of the hyoid bone until a Leahy or Alice clamp can sufficiently grasp the midline hyoid. If the hyoid appears immobile, additional detachment of the midline infrahyoid muscles is performed. The clamp is removed. Subplatismal dissection tracks are made to the posterior aspect of the mandible at the level of the lower canine teeth. Using a repose bone screw inserter, the first repose bone screw is implanted into the posterior mandible, approximately one to one and a half centimeters up from the inferior rim at the level of the lower canine teeth. Repose bone screws come equipped with two integrally attached sutures fused onto the back end of the screw. The inserter is removed after screw implantation, tailing the sutures from the drive head of the device. The sutures are tagged while the inserter is reloaded with a second repose bone screw and attached sutures. The surgeon implants the contralateral screw in a similar manner. A Leahy or Alice clamp is returned to the midline hyoid bone and the clamp rotated up toward the chin. This hyperexposes the inferior musculature, facilitating easier needle passage around the hyoid. A one-inch free curve needle is loaded onto one of the closed suture tail loops, forming a clove hitch. The needle is passed from the inferior musculature, approximately one centimeter off midline, then retrieved from the superior or suprahyoid muscles. The sutures are then passed a second time around the hyoid bone, inferior to superior, just slightly medial of the first pass. The free curve needle is loaded onto the contralateral suture tails in the previously described manner. The Leahy clamp is lowered toward the patient's chest, hyperexposing the superior musculature. The needle is passed superior to inferior, approximately one centimeter lateral of midline. The sutures are then passed a second time around the hyoid bone, superior to inferior, just slightly medial of the first pass. The suture tails now oppose each other, one above the hyoid, one beneath. A surgeon's knot is placed on the midline. As the tails are pulled in opposing directions, the previously placed hyoid suture loops behave like a series of pulleys, easily drawing the hyoid up toward the mandible, approximately 8 to 10 millimeters, until the inferior midline muscles become drum tight. Once satisfied with the suspension, a single knot is thrown over the surgeon's knot, effectively locking the suspension. Several half-hitch reversing knots are added to the original knots. The tails are cut. The wound is irrigated thoroughly, followed by subapproximation stitches, placement of a suction drain, and wound closure of choice. The repose hyomandibular suspension technique allows for correction of two major points of airway obstruction. By leaving the stylohyoid muscles attached to the hyoid bone, the repose hyoid suspension technique increases the anterior-posterior upper airway space while achieving forward advancement of the base of tongue.